Yo, what's up? Today I have a ghost story for you. Nah, just kidding. I'm wrapping up a day of doing videos and I wanted to share with you a vision that I had that occurred during a nap, as I usually do. And it was a way of showing how when we see ourselves as separate, when we're, you know, obviously we're just the one consciousness experiencing itself. And the way this occurred to me was to illustrate it using uh, light fractals. And the way I saw it was actually from a, a crystal with um, multi-dimensional uh, fractals. But as is usually the case, I've got to try to show it in a way that can be um, easily shown. I mean, if I had computer skills, I'd try to do it on a computer. But I don't, so I'm going to try to demonstrate it to you with what I could find in the kitchen and my bedroom. So here we go. What I want to show you first of all is this. This is light. Light represents consciousness. Light represents God. This is all there is, all there ever was, and all there ever will be. And what happens in our little world on planet Earth, we see ourselves as separate. So here you can see light fractals on the wall all dancing around. This is us. And we're all going about our lives and we see ourselves as somewhat separate from each other, uh, from the animals, from the trees, the sky, the sun and the moon, from the stars, from the galaxies. But we're really all one. And the reason that we see ourselves as separate is that we get so caught up in our egos and in, in, in the matrix. And while consciousness, I guess, as we are on lo as, as life on this earth, we are the one consciousness experiencing itself in many different ways, which is represented here in the uh, different light fractals that you see. The thing is, is that it just appears to be fragmented when this is what the source is. So what's doing that? Well, even though this is just a kitchen utensil, this can really demonstrate what, I, what really is our beliefs. And it's our beliefs that separate us from one another. It's our beliefs that fragment the consciousness into seemingly separate pieces and it's our beliefs that will hold us back from ever really achieving the peace and knowing the one consciousness and the peace and the love that exists within that. So this is why I always question not only my own beliefs but I always try to encourage people to question their own beliefs because until you can grow beyond these little fragmented pieces that we call our existence we're never going to know what lies beyond that. And there is so much that lies beyond, you know, what we believe in and what we see with our eyes and what we think that we experience and perceive in this world. So I hope you enjoyed this little clip. I like playing around with the colander and the light. It's fun for me. And um, writing with any questions regarding this. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video.